Hey guys, welcome to my new training series, Going Remote. I know that right now there are a lot of you that are trying to figure out how to move your work completely online and how to work remotely in the most effective way possible. So for the next 30 days, I'm going to be posting as many new trainings as I can to help you with this. I've been working remotely for a long time now and I'm constantly testing out new tech tools. So I think this will be really helpful for you. So today's video is going to be all about how to share ideas online. It can be really hard when you are limited to just online communication. Well, that's where today's tool Loom comes in to help. Loom allows you to easily share your screen and therefore share your ideas so much faster and more effectively. There are so many different applications for this from teaching to creating training videos to just communicating with others instead of sending an email. It's going to make it so much clearer and easier for you to get your ideas across. It's a Chrome extension and it's also a desktop app for both Mac and PC and I think you're really going to love it. All right, let's dive into a tutorial right now. I'm going to walk you through everything that you need to know in order to start communicating more effectively. All right, so the first thing you're going to do is go to loom.com and then you're just going to click get loom for free. Then you're going to type in your email to create a free account. Okay. And now you just need to type in your first name, your last name and create a password. and click continue. Okay, awesome. Now you have two options to choose from, the Chrome extension or the desktop app, both of which are fantastic. So really you can choose between the two. So for the Chrome extension, you're just going to click install extension, and then you're going to click add to Chrome, and then add extension. Great, and you'll see it appear right up here at the top. Now let's go back to the desktop app, click download app, and that is going to download here to your computer. So I'm on a Mac, so it's going to download here. I'm gonna open up my downloads folder, double click on that file, and this is going to open up. Great, and then I'm just going to click on this icon here and drag it into my applications folder. Um, but you know, I already have this, so I'm not gonna do that, but that is how you make that happen. Okay, awesome, so I'm just gonna click, I'll choose later and continue on. Now, if you'd like, you can enable notifications. Okay, and click allow here so that you can see those. Awesome, so this is what the back end of Loom looks like and this is where all your videos will be stored. So let's do a demo using the Chrome extension. So all you need to do is come up here and click on the Chrome extension. Then you're going to click one click access so that they can use your microphone and camera and then allow. Awesome, now we are ready to go. <laughs> so before we dive into filming, there's just one thing I recommend you do. Come up here to your profile, then click account settings and upload a profile picture here. Okay, so let's click there, grab a photo. Okay, great. So we've uploaded that and that's all you need to do. You're also going to need to verify your email address. So they will have sent you an email. Okay. So let's go back home. So now I'm going to show you how to use the Chrome extension. So you're just going to come up here, click on that. Okay, great. And now you will see yourself on screen right over here. <laughs> so I'm going to dismiss this notification about desktop for right now. Okay, so we have a few options. You can record your screen and cam at the same time so that you show up and yet that you're personalizing your videos a little bit. Or you can choose just to share your screen. Now, if you do this, your profile picture will come up. You can choose to display that if you want or you can just X out here and not show that or you can do your cam only, which is just going to show you. So the one I use most often is screen and cam. So what you're gonna do is just click show advanced options and you can make sure that it's using the right camera and microphone. So it's just a drop down right here to select your camera and microphone as well. 
Okay, great. So you'll see a few other options. Don't worry about those. I just leave these as default. And now you're going to click start recording. So now you can choose whether you want to share your entire screen or just an application window. So this would be, you know, showing just Google Chrome, for example, where is if I choose my desktop, um, that's going to be my entire screen. So maybe you need to demo you using a certain app on your computer, in which case you're going to want to choose your entire screen. Okay, so I'm going to click share. So then it's going to give you a countdown and then you can start recording. So I just like to hide this message down here actually. And then what it's going to do is it's going to record anything on my screen. So I can go ahead and I can demo exactly what I need someone to do. So yeah, this really comes in handy. So any of this Anywhere that I need to say, you know, click here, click there, explaining a particular issue or training that you need, um, anything on your screen is going to be recorded, okay? So then when you are done, you're just gonna come down here and you're going to click on the check mark. Awesome, so there you go. That is your first Loom video. And as you can see, it is recorded here. So this is maybe one of the best parts about Loom is everything is recorded and saved online. So you don't need to download a video, then upload it and edit it, all these things. All of those steps are gone. So let's X out of that. You would come over here and first title your video. So just double click and then add your title. Okay, so then if you want to play the video, you can just go ahead and click play here. So I'm gonna do that for a second and show you what it looks like. Down, and then you can start recording. So I just like to. Okay, so all of your movements on screen as well as you on camera, it's all going to be recorded. And what I love about the software so much is that it's all stored online. This is a huge time saver, so there's no downloading, then editing, then uploading, all of those steps are taken out and you can simply share this link for this specific video with others. So all you need to do is go over here, click copy link, and then when you share that with others, let me show you what they will see. So you've shared that with someone else, they click on that link, and this is what they're going to see here. Okay, so they're going to see your video. They can watch it at a few different speeds, which is really convenient. They can react to the video with an emoji, and then they can also give you some comments down below it. On top of this, they can also download the video and share it out. So yeah, I love the interface of this software. So let's go back to our settings. So this is your settings. You're controlling what happens here. So we've copied that link. I also wanna show you your privacy options. So you can choose that only people with the link can see your video, or you can choose to make this public. Okay, and then down here we have settings. So if you click on settings, you'll see a few different options as well. So for example, if you didn't want people to be able to download it, then you can go ahead and turn that off. Okay, and then you'll see we have the option to trim. So you can actually edit out any mistakes that may accidentally happen. You can actually trim those out in the editor here. You can also add a call to action on your video. So that would be a button like this here at the top. And you can add a custom thumbnail. So if you just click custom thumbnail here, you'll be able to upload an image and replace the thumbnail. So there is a lot that you can do here. And then you can also organize everything into folders. So you can click move to folder, and then you can go ahead and create a new folder and keep everything organized. So basically, this is going to just speed up your workflow so much. Rather than trying to type out instructions via text, now you can simply quickly come up here, click on the Chrome extension, record your video, 
copy the link, send it over, and you are good to go. So even, you know, those extras that I just showed you, you don't even need to do those. I think this is a really effective tool for speed, so I wouldn't worry. You know, if you say, um, or something, that's fine. You don't really need to trim that out. Um, the call to action custom thumbnail depends on what type of video you're doing. But yeah, this is really, I think, um, I found it to be most beneficial for quick communication but then I also do use it for my course videos. So I teach online courses. And so for those, then it's super important that these videos are really professional and perfect. So then we do use this trim feature sometimes. So now I'm going to show you the desktop app. Once you download it, it's going to show up right up here at the top of your screen. And when you want to record, you're just going to click on it and you'll see your three different options appear. Okay, so I always just do full screen, but you could also do window or a custom size. So I'm gonna go ahead with full screen and then click start recording. Okay, awesome. So this is very similar to the Chrome extension. So it's going to be recording all of my movement as well as my voiceover but there's a few more benefits here. So what I can actually do is I can come over here to the left and this little panel will appear, okay? Then what you can do is you can actually pause the recording. Okay guys, so this is huge. This is what I use for filming any of my course videos and it has saved me so much time. So before this, I would have had to film the video and then anytime there was a wait period, so for example, I'm waiting for a page to load, I would need to then film over that, go back and edit it out so that the video was great and my students weren't waiting around for that page to load. Okay, so that com this completely eliminates that and now you can just come over here, pause the recording, and then when you're ready to film again, you just come back over here and hit the play button and it's all within the same video file. So uh, this is huge. So whether you're like me and you need to wait for something to load, or maybe you just want to take a minute to regroup your thoughts, it's incredible. So yeah, hopefully you can tell from my voice how exciting this particular feature is, and I think it will save you a ton, a ton of time. So this is part of the reason why I use the desktop app. So they also have this other cool feature. I don't use it often, but I am going to show it to you. Basically, you click on the little uh, paintbrush icon right there, and then what you can do is you can actually draw on your screen. So that's really cool, and you can draw attention to certain items that you need to. Okay, so I'm gonna hit done on that. So yeah, that is the desktop version. And then when you are done filming, you're just gonna come up here, click on this little red square, and then it's going to open up that window for you with your video recording already saved and easily accessible online. Okay, so now that you know how to use Loom, let's go over a few other things. Um, once you have finished recording, if you click on my videos, you will see it right here. This will be your most recent video. And then if you want, you can organize this into folders. So you just hover over it, click on this little square here, and then you can click move and you can move that to the appropriate folder or you can click create new folder to create a new one. So yeah, definitely keep all your videos organized. It can easily get out of control. Okay, so now let's talk about pricing. I'm just gonna flip this to monthly. Um, so as you can see, the basic plan is completely free and then the pro is just $5 per month and the pro version is free for teachers and students. So that is fantastic. And Loom has been doing something special because of COVID-19. So they are, um, as you can see here, they have removed the recording limit on the free plan, so that's now unlimited. The Loom Pro plan is half of what it usually was, and all free trials are now 30 days. So, But it will be free uh, for education forever, the Pro version, so that's just awesome. So really love this company. Um, and then you can just come down here and you can see if you need the basic or pro, just click show all features and then you can compare. I didn't realize this, but it does say that the high def uh, option is 
Mac only for now, but I'm sure they will um, add that soon for Windows. And either way, the um, I found the quality to be really great, even if I'm not using the highest available quality. So yeah, this is Loom. I hope that um, you really enjoy using this tool and that it helps you significantly as you move your work remote. All right, guys, that's it for today's video. I hope that you love Loom as much as I do and that it helps you communicate more effectively while working from home. If you found this video helpful, please let me know by giving it a thumbs up and share it out with others that you think will benefit from it. And don't forget to hit subscribe because I'm gonna be posting a lot more training videos for going remote. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you soon.